Hey, it's Nathan and La Silvia, who is a dog, who is also serviceful. So, uh, inappropriate. Anyway, we're from Oakcroft Films with another episode of Service Dog Tales. So people often don't associate disability rights with civil rights, but by definition, they are. I mean, the Americans with Disabilities Act was basically the civil rights act for the disabled community. And because of this, I really enjoy visiting historically significant places for various other civil rights movements. Now, that being said, this is one of the most ironic things that's ever happened to me. Before I start, I would just like to point out that this was a very positive experience for myself and hopefully for other people involved. This happened way back in high school in a time far, far away when Game of Thrones was not a TV show yet. I still had a flip phone. It was at least six girlfriends ago. Possibly seven. I mean, who's counting? <laughs> I'm... I'm counting. It, it, it was seven. I was on my way to a forensics competition in Texas, and while we were on our way there, we stopped in Little Rock, Arkansas. In addition to being what Dwayne Johnson should call his kid, Little Rock is home to Little Rock Central High School, the historic site where nine brave African-American students became pioneers in the effort to desegregate schools. My coach Sylvia and I took a look around the high school. We took a picture out front. Sylvia peed on the lawn. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, right across from the high school is a civil rights museum, and right in front of the civil rights museum is engraved in stone the message of equal protection, as guaranteed by the 14th Amendment. Now, I often have concerns when I walk into a public place that Sylvia's access might be challenged, but after reading that, I looked at my coach and I was like, how funny would it be if I got challenged here? I mean, that would just be ridiculous. So we walk in. And the guy at the counter is like, Excuse me, sir, but uh, we don't allow dogs in here. <laughs> Did you really just challenge my civil rights as a disabled person at a civil rights museum? Did that really just... I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but sh she is a service dog. She is allowed to be here. And when I told him that she was a service dog, he kind of seemed confused or baffled or whatever, so we just kind of kept walking. So we're looking at the exhibits and I can kind of see the guy in the corner talking to his manager. And like five minutes later, the manager comes up to us with one of the most apologetic personas ever. And he says, hello, you two, uh, welcome to the museum. Is there is there anything that you would like me to tell you about one of the exhibits or um, can, I, can, can I get your service dog some water? No, thank you, sir, but thanks for asking. All right, well, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Now, I don't know what the conversation between the manager and the employee sounded like, but I'm assuming it sounded something like, uh, those people just brought a dog in here. Uh, yeah, you, you're talking about the service dog over there? Oh, service dog, That that's a thing? Yes, it's a thing. You didn't try to stop them, did you? Um... Now the important part of the story is that it really was a very positive experience for me because even after the initial challenge, someone saw that, realized what had just happened and realized the significance of it, and tried really hard to make sure that I felt welcome the rest of the time I was there. Disability accommodations are a part of civil rights. And it was nice to see that what started out as a very ironic situation ended up being an acknowledgement of that fact. One of the purposes of these videos is to discuss disability and service dog awareness. And hopefully in doing that, to limit the challenges that happen to service dog access. But I understand that if you are a service dog owner, you probably are going to face that at some point. And what's important is that if you have a situation like this situation, in which, yes, it started out as a challenge, but the person was educated and the place did try to redeem itself, that that one interaction does not define that person, and it doesn't define all of their future interactions. And from that experience, they and all of us can grow. Well, that's today's episode. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like, a share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks to all of you that shared my service dog PSA. It was really nice to see everyone trying to get that message out. And now that we no longer need it to be silent in here, Sylvia, would you like me to turn the AC on? Yeah.